Hey guys, so today's video is going to be just our weekly update on my 12 week weight loss journey. I'm going to tell you my goal for week two. And I'm going to also tell you guys um, how my first week went as far as my diet and exercise and me sticking to my goals. So if you guys want to catch up on my weight loss journey, stay tuned. Okay guys, so welcome back. So if this is your first time tuning into this video, last week I talked about me starting a 12 week weight loss journey and I shared with you guys what I am planning to accomplish during this 12 weeks. In week one I shared with you all of my goals for this 12 weeks. Um, I also shared with you my goals for week one and my diet and exercise plan as well as some of the things that I wanted to accomplish for the week. So this is week two and I just want to kind of give you a recap of how my diet and exercise has been going and also share with you what my goal is for week two. So last week was week one and I went to the gym four times last week. My schedule was crazy um, but I did manage to go to the gym for four days and I also stay in the gym for about an hour and an hour and 10 minutes. On average, I haven't um, done anything less than an hour, but some days I went maybe an hour and 10, an hour and 20, depending on what I was doing. Um, but basically I'm in the gym for about an hour. So again, last week I went for four days and I stayed in for an hour and I trained, weight trained all four of those days. And I also did cardio for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, it changed each day. So I am currently sitting down, like always, but um, <laughs> um, I had a really hard week as far as me getting back into the gym and getting acclimated to a weight training program. It really tells you how out of shape you are when you go back into the gym and you're focused on those goals. You're just like, man, I could, you know, maybe a year ago I was able to lift up 15, 20 pounds. Now I have to stick with the seven to eight pound weight is like, it's like a shocker, but once I kind of went and got out of this whole shock and um, I guess the shock, I guess that's what the word I'm looking for. I guess once I realized, okay, you can't lift as much as you used to, so pick up a lighter weight, girlfriend, and let's go. Once I got over that, I was good to go. So again, I trained um, four days a week last week as well as cardio, and the training was definitely tough. Um, again, I was... I noticed how out of shape I was and I wasn't able to lift this much but also my body was really sore really quickly so it was just a mess but I managed to get through week one and my goals for last week were definitely to eliminate um, any kind of juice and teas and as far as um, bottled teas I stick with green tea still um, but my goal was to eliminate all of the sugar out of my diet as well as all of the un as well as the processed foods. So last week I stuck with my goal. I did not have any sugar. And if you guys don't know me, honey, me and candy, just like this, we get down. Candy, like, it's just candy and me. Wherever you see me, you seen candy. So I conquered the beast last week. I didn't have any sugar. I was so proud of myself. That has always been my vice, eating sugar. Um, not necessarily cakes, not pies, none of that stuff. It's always candy. And for me to get through a week of not eating candy is a major, major milestone for me. So I am happy to say that I did not have any sugar last week. I'm also happy to say that I did not have any processed foods. What I mean by processed is anything that was canned, anything that had artificial preservatives in it, any of the nasty stuff, I eliminated it. I eliminated that. <laughs> I talked so fast. I eliminated all of those products out of my diet last week. So I have stuck to my goals and I'm extremely happy about that. Um, last week I also um, talked about in my first video the, how big meeting those goals and reaching those goals are. So because I reached that goal last week or those goals for last week, it even motivated me more to continue to keep going. So. As you can see from this video, I'm on week two, and this week's goal is, of course, to continue to stay away from sugar, continue to stay away from all of the processed foods, but my main goal for this week is to take 30 minutes out of my day in conjunction to my weight training and really focus on um, rebuilding or renewing and think and changing the way that I think and see things. Um, as you guys know, I am a busy mother, I'm a busy wife, and I'm a busy 
entrepreneur. I do own a business and I don't have a lot of time to just sit down and kind of just let my mind wander. But um, this week I really wanted to focus on taking 30, 20, 30 minutes and really focusing on the things that matter, focusing on my visions, focusing on the things that I want to accomplish, not just with this whole weight loss thing, but just in general, changing and thinking about the way that I see things. And if it's in a negative way, changing that. So that's basically my number one um, mind goal or mental goal for the week. As far as my training, my goal has been to increase my cardio. Um, last week I was doing about 20 to 30 minutes. I only did 30 minutes on Tuesday because... I trained, yeah, so Tuesday of last week I trained for 30 minutes, but my goal for this week is to increase my cardio, and that is to do 30 minutes four times a week, and also to incorporate a little more of green leafy vegetables in my diet. Now last week all of my meal prepping, everything was amazing, I did really well with my meal prep, but I didn't eat as many green vegetables as I would like to have eaten. Um, I think I was eating about a half a cup, so I kind of want to increase that to maybe about a full cup. Not because I'm hungry, but only because I want to get more of that leafy green vegetable into my diet and to get a little more fiber. So as far as my diet is concerned, I want to increase the amount of vegetables and different vegetables that I'm eating in my diet. So that is my goal for my diet and it's for my exercise is also to increase my cardio for 30 minutes i also want to continue with the goals that i had for last week which were to stay away from the sugar and stay away from the processed food so i'm just going to continue that um up until um, i get to seeing some changes now as far as my weight loss for last week i lost about an inch and a half in my waist and i lost two pounds of body weight now i'm not sure if that is water weight i'm not sure if that is actual fat loss but two pounds are away from my weight and i'm happy about that okay because two pounds is a lot so i am happy that i, I lost two pounds last week but because i am doing a lot of weight training i am going to notice that my the scale will probably either stay the same or will go up because muscle weighs more than fat so i'm really not too keen on you know watching the scale but I just wanted to do it just to see and kind of measure my progress but I'm not one of those people who looks at a scale and goes crazy because you know it went up one or went down two or went up three and went down four this is not my thing because I'm weight training I know that you know adding muscle to my body is going to make me heavier but I do see changes in my clothes I do see changes on how my pants are fitting around my waist as well as I'm noticing that my legs are starting to tone up I am extremely sore when I hit leg day which is always on a Monday I hit leg day hard like I'm lifting hard I'm lifting heavy and I'm doing a lot of reps so I'm extremely sore which is good um, I have also been keeping up really well on my supplements I am currently taking glutamine fish oil BCAA and just regular protein powder so I'm doing really well with that I'm sorry and also a multivitamin so I'm doing really well on my supplements I'm doing really well on my diet and I'm doing extremely well on the exercise so basically for week two I just want to kind of continue the momentum making sure that I stay motivated and focus on the goals that I've set out for that week as well as my overall goal so that is basically it um I really think I had a really good first week but I just want to continue that momentum and kind of keep it going until I reach my 12 week journey so that is basically for this video I kind of want to give you up to date on my week two and let you know what I'm doing and until I see you guys next week for week three that is it so don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter under Shamir Nicole I am also on body space which is a part of bodybuilder.com if you want to follow all of my fitness information and things there you can find me there I'll leave that link in the description box as well so that's it guys stay tuned for week three and don't forget to get up and get moving if you're following along on my weight loss journey please leave a link in the comment section and let me know how you guys are doing I did have some comments last week thank you guys who decided to join with me if you guys um, have been doing this weight loss journey with me let me know how everything's going don't you know don't be shy reach out to me let me know what's going on um, I'll be happy to hear from you guys and that's basically it so I will see you guys next week